Uganda marked the International Anti-Corruption Day with the theme of promoting active citizen participation in social accountability. Bishop Joshua released prayer touched on Ugandans' worriness about the misuse of government funds. The people we lead are tired. They're like sheep without a shepherd. They feel oppressed and have no where to run. They no longer believe that we are their best interest at heart. President Seven blamed corruption on people who want to get rich quick. The ideology of how you can create wealth, personal wealth, group wealth, national wealth, without stealing. The Inspector General of Government, Betkami, has advocated for a lifestyle audit to catch corrupt officials, but the President says the Inspectorate should do performance audits on government projects. The money which is stolen and nobody follows is mainly government money. But this government money, we know where it is coming from. And we know how much each year so much money is spent on the roads. First, are the roads there? And if the roads are there, are they the right, the right, the right quality? And at the right price? He asked agencies that are fighting corruption to work with the ordinary person. Say, if you want to know what the problem is, contact the victim, the victim of corruption. And who is the victim of corruption? It is the villagers. Kami and other stakeholders on this mission say a lot more must be done. Some of us are even practitioners and beneficiaries of corruption using the very offices we, f we occupy to fight corruption. So whose war is it? Increased recovery of stolen public funds by way of refund, settlement, compensation, orders and fine. C. Severe punishment of all persons involved in corrupt practices and economic sabotage. Kamiya recently said that the country loses 10 trillion shillings to corruption annually, money that can do a lot for the country's development. Jumakiriya, NTV.